If you're the type of player who just wants to pick up a character and start playing some player matches, this is a perfect video for you. If you don't have the time to lab the most optimal combos in every situation, or figure out a ton of mix-up options before taking a character into ranked, this video is gonna cover all of it. When trying to pick up a character, I always search for all this info on YouTube, Twitter, and Google, gathering little bits and pieces of information on different channels. And that's why I've created this all-in-one easy pickup cheat sheet that you can find the link to in the description down below, so you can download it and check it out whenever you need a reminder. You can probably come up with better combos and better mix-ups as you get comfortable with the character, but as you pick them up for the first time and start playing, this is all you need to know. Let's dive into Android 17. First of all, where does he fit in a team? Android 17 is better used as a point character. His assist can be very situational and does not work with every character, so if he's in the bench, he's not gonna help your team a lot. You want him as a point, because he really shines when he has at least one assist to help him out. Neutral tips. The first neutral tip we have on our cheat sheet is special, special, special into assist one. Any character that has this sort of quick fire key blast can do this neutral trick where if the opponent blocks the first key blast, they're gonna get caught by the assist and then you can just get in there and start your own mix-up. This works with Gotenks obviously as you can see but other assists with long range can also do it. And then you also have the Acrobatic Assault that has 17 jumping all around the screen. If you use the Acrobatic Assault followed by an assist this can be very very good for cross-ups or for high-low mix-ups. Either way you get in close you start your own block string and we'll talk about mix-ups later. Other than that you're gonna have to use tools that you would use with pretty much every other character. The Super Dash covered by assists, Instant Air Dashing, in and out of range, all that stuff. Let's move on to combos. So all the combos you can see here you don't have to start them with a medium attack you can start with an overhead you can start by poking with low lights they pretty much work with any starter that you want they will deal less damage but hey you can't always get the most optimal damage out of any situation so without any meter anywhere on screen the saiyan combo works pretty nicely it's standard it's boring yes but it's some good damage regardless now with one assist available and one bar of meter and actually you can do this with only a quarter of a bar this is the combo i would go for now you do need an assist that lets you do this but a ton of assists in the game will let you do it. It will have different timings obviously so you're gonna need to practice a little bit but it's not hard to find an assist that will let you finish this combo. Then if you catch an opponent with anything and you need to go into a vanish his combo is pretty standard but if you've already charged power blitz beforehand for some reason then you'll still be able to get a sliding knockdown. Moving on to mix-ups. So the second combo I showed you guys you can pretty much do that but once you get to the driver make sure you vary your options. You don't always do the same. If you just smash the button the opponent will know exactly the next attack that is coming every single time. So by holding forward and the attack button, you can go into the overhead first. By holding down in the attack button, you can go into the low first. And if you hold back in the attack button, you will actually perform a fake out. So when using drivers for mix up, you're going to need those skills to read your opponent, to know what they're going to do. 17 just gives you easy mix up options, but they are vulnerable if you are just smashing the buttons. So what is the opponent doing in reaction to your driver? Are they spamming down heavy? Because the overhead attack of the driver is actually vulnerable to a down heavy. But if they're doing that, there's actually a nice option select. When you throw the overhead, press the special button. The overhead will whiff on a down heavy and you will be able to punish your opponent. If they don't try to punish you, hey, you just continue the driver. No harm, no foul. Are they spamming reflect? Because you know, they can once again reflect your overhead attack on the driver. Well, that's precisely what the fake out is there for. Also, you can link the two driver abilities together. You can throw the quarter circle forward version and the quarter circle back version in the same block string in the same combo. So if they're spamming reflect, you can go into a quarter circle backwards medium version and that will catch the opponent whiffing. Speaking of fake outs, don't forget you also have the fake versions of the drivers. By holding down the medium or the heavy attack buttons, 17 will just rush forward and not start attacking. So you cover that approach by an assist and suddenly you just reset your whole block string and you are ready for some new mix-ups. Speaking of the heavy attack of the driver version, that thing crosses up so use it sporadically, it's not the easiest thing to react to. And finally, we talked about acrobatic assault back in neutral. In the middle of a block string, it can also be be very useful. You can use it to get out of trouble and if you use a key blast to cancel after you reach a wall, you won't get close to the opponent again. But if you do have an assist once you use the acrobatic assault, you can use that to cover your new approach and that basically resets your block string, giving you all the mix-up options all over again. If you use the cross-up version of the acrobatic assault, it can be very very tricky to block because the opponent needs to react to your assist and not to your active character. And depending on the assist you have, they can even move the enemy enough which can lead to some very very ambiguous overhead. 
sides. And this cross-up trick with Acrobatic Assault works even in the corner. Other than that, you have a ton of options that work with pretty much any character in the game. Double overheads with medium light, empty jump lows, overheads into Dragon Rush, cross-up goodness, pretty much everything that you would think. And that does it for this video. It's an easy way to pick up 17 and just start playing him. Over time, you'll get better, you'll get more options. But for now, this is an easy way to just pick up and play. Don't forget that all of the videos on this channel are funded by audience members just like yourself. If you're not a premium member yet, head over to Patreon and check the options that we have. We have some pretty cheap stuff, less than 17 cents a day, and you could become a premium member like these top supporters on the left. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name's Globku, and I'll see you guys next time. Boy.